Hi, I'm Richard Van Donk, a senior Dai Shi Han with over 30 years as a Shidoshi, uh, passing the Godan test in 1987. Today I'm sharing a quick video for my IBDA students in regards to ranking as there seems to be a lot of confusion in regards to ranks in the Bujinkan. First of all, all ranks are not equal, like they are in many other systems. What I mean by that is uh, some systems, you have a specific amount of information that you learn that anybody to say is a black belt level, you will know that they covered that information and they learned it and can demonstrate it well. As you may also know is that the IBDA, if you're training with this, of course, that you'll have to learn specific information in order to be graded to the next level. You know, I'm sure that that seems obvious to you, but that's just not the standard in the Bujinkan. Soke Hatsumi has graciously allowed each teacher to grade a student any way they want, any way they want at all. Um, uh, doesn't matter how long they've trained for a grade. It doesn't matter what they've learned. They can make up any curriculum. Uh, they can either have a ranked curriculum or, or not. Many instructors have chosen the no standard, no requirements method in awarding their ranks. Uh, they train for a while. They just grade their students um, uh, high ranks uh, really quickly without knowing anything. And so many of you have contacted us about seeing so many high ranks that uh, have seemingly sloppy and efficient taijutsu abilities, uh, at least compared to others. Um, I am really mo sure that that is really confusing to people who have worked much, much harder for the same or lesser grade. Uh, grade, you know, is a grade and it's a measurement between you and your teacher uh, on what it is that you've learned. I fully get that. But when you look at an overall system um, and you notice that the taijutsu abilities of a shodan are better than a judan, it really um, makes a person question. Uh, both sides should actually question that. Um, but that's maybe the beauty of the Bujinkan at the same time. Uh, there's also a lot of confusion about the very high number of new Dai Shihans that have been issued. So first let me address that and then I'll get into the ranking a little bit. Simply, Soke Hatsumi, being in his late 80s, is now towards the end of his Budo journey. Uh, it's been a great, he's great, he's wonderful, he's amazing, and I could go on and on with that. Uh, he's given us all a very great uh, gift. His greatest desire is for the arts to live on, so he's passing the authority on to whomever he feels will carry on his teachings after he is no longer able to. So, you know, really, my advice for you is to align yourself with a senior teacher in the art and forget what else is happening because it really doesn't have anything to do with you. And in the end, it will all just fall out the way it will. Your goal is to train yourself to become as best as you can uh, in the arts. And so find a good teacher, one that gives you the knowledge, the information, and the path that you choose. Now, IBDA may be the choice for you, and maybe it won't, okay? I'm just trying to help you to have that clarity. At IBDA, we treat ranks just like a university would. Uh, the term Ru me basically means school. So we are a school. We're a university, and you learn in a progression to learn the arts that are taught. Ranks directly relate to knowledge learned. Now, we want you to learn everything. We don't there, there's no restriction on what you learn or what you teach or when you learn it, but when you want to test for a grade, you've no specific information, step-by-step -step information, so that every teacher, every student, no matter what their rank level is, will you know that they've covered that material. If a fifth Q comes to you as a teacher in Georgia and they're coming from California and they want to work on fourth Q material, you have already covered that. You have already done it. You've already proved that through our Shidoshi training uh, and certification program that you know that information to share with that student. To us, that's extremely important. To us, that's the only way the art will really carry itself on is by having information, uh, the student learn information for the grades that they have. For, to us, it's the only way that the grades will be respected. And over time, this will all play out 
Um, and we have students all over the world in over a hundred countries um, that have gone from brand new beginner to instructor to master to 15th on level uh, that started with our basic Shodan uh, material. So we know that it works uh, because it's time tested uh, and world tested. And we want you to have a rank that you feel uh, that you can be proud of. Now, it may take you a little bit longer to get a grade from us uh, than somebody just giving you a son done when you've only been training for a year. Uh, this does happen. Uh, sad to me, but that's just my personal opinion. I may be just totally full of it, you know, and uh, but uh, that's just the way I was brought up in martial arts 50 years now. 36 or something in the Bujin Khan, uh, but that's just the way I created a standard from uh, before I became a, a Shidoshi, passing the, the Godan test in 1987. So since the 1980s, uh, I've had a very strong, solid, and complete study material, um, worked on that very hard, uh, took seven years and 25 trips to Japan at that time, even in putting that basic material together uh, just so that our students would have a, a very solid curriculum and be able to learn what I learned in Japan because they probably couldn't go there, go there, especially as many times. And I codified the art so that they could study that. We put all that together in, uh, and I won't go into that here, but you can just go to ninjutsu.com or ninjadojo.com and learn all about our programs, our beginner to master program that covers training in Nenpo Taijutsu, Ninjutsu, and Budo Taijutsu. It's in binder courses. It's all been put in a 20-year online study portal uh, where you can study this stuff in a great progression, including training, uh, teacher's training program, you know, and I want to say that we have an IBDA Master Council to take on this work far into the future, uh, long after I'm or anybody else is uh, alive. And uh, we're here to serve the entire Bujinkan. You can learn, anybody can learn all of our material, no matter whether you train with me or rank with me or don't rank with me. My whole goal is just to serve the art itself, to serve anybody that we can, and especially serve Grandmaster Hatsumi. You know, I started out with him on, on a mission in 1987 to get these teachings to the world, to anybody, so that anybody in the world, anywhere could study the arts. I have done that and completed that message, uh, that mission. And uh, my mission to you is just train, love the arts, uh, don't get caught in all of the stuff or whatever is going on. Really, it's about your training and uh, getting in line with the teacher and learning and studying this this great and this wonderful art. We're here for you. We will be here for you uh, no matter what. And, um, you know, I just look forward to uh, meeting you one day if I haven't already and I'm just looking to serve you in any way that I can. And I look forward uh, to the next day that we meet and uh, to seeing you on the mat. So until next time, uh, I'll see you then.